This is Amber Bell from Cal Business Solutions. Today's topic is using Excel report dashboards in Microsoft Dynamics GP. Has this ever happened to you? Your CEO asks you to give them reports showing current customer balances, what you owe to vendors, and what items are in stock. As soon as you hand them the report, it is out of date. In a previous video, we showed you the basics of using the Live Excel report functions in GP. Now you can actually use automatic Excel dashboards that are included with GP. That means no formatting, no creating pivot tables, no filters, no formulas, everything's ready to go. You simply open GP, you click on one of the modules that you want to look at. So for example, we're going to click on sales, go to Excel reports, after that loads, you can look for dashboards. You can see I have mine open, or you can just filter to dashboards, and you'll see that. And you can open that right up. I'm going to show you what those look like. So here's my sales dashboard. So out of the box, automatically, my CEO could see the top five customers. They could also drill in and get more information. They can see the sales pre-people, sales territory information, information about our top customers, what items were sold, and they can get information about the aging and open AR. That's automatic. Also, switching over to purchasing, I can see total items that are below our order, order point, what POs are late, what items have been received but not invoiced, and I can scroll through and get more information. I can drill in and get more information on other tabs. I can also pull up items that have been received and not invoiced, look at our outstanding POs uh, with account and total, and I can actually drill in and see information. There are automatic formatting in place showing if they're out of date or past due. I can also review and look at vendor information. And again, all of this happened automatically. I didn't do any formatting or any formulas. I can look at that for inventory. You can see information for inventory, even down to item quantities. And I can finally do that for a financial dashboard. Now, because I'm using a new version of Excel, I can also use these slicers to change the information automatically. So you see that same report. I didn't do any changes other than change the date range. If I look in here, I can pull information about my cost of goods sold based on the setup in GP, and also down to information about the specific transactions. And again, those are all automatic. I didn't have to do any setup. All I had to do was launch the report right out of GP, and then all the information was there. We hope you like this new feature, and if you have any questions, please let us know. For more information or more great tips for Microsoft Dynamics GP, visit www.calzone.com tips and sign up for our newsletter.